Mr. President, we met in this chamber almost two months ago. We warned about the risks of Israeli attacks to the regional and global peace and security. 109 days into the conflict, it's a shame that the international community is still unable to stop the bloodshed in Gaza and the West Bank. Gaza used to be an open prison. Now it's a battleground where the Israeli Prime Minister runs military operations for killing civilians to extend his political life. The argument that the current war is about providing security for Israel is far from being convincing. Yet the proponents of this argument never talk about the security of Palestinians nor the Palestinians' right to self-defense. The situation in Gaza and West Bank clearly demonstrates who needs security and the right to self-defense most. Israel commits serious war crimes. Those responsible must be held accountable to restore faith in international law and the rules-based order. We are seriously concerned with the reports that Israel's war crimes in Gaza may amount to genocide. We welcome the application before the International Court of Justice concerning the violations by Israel of its obligations under 1948 Genocide Convention. It's a timely attempt to protect the Palestinian people against further harm.